Hi, this is Kevin Tharp, and today I'm going to be talking to you about the guides tools. The guides tools are available under the advanced mode, under the more tab, under the more panel. You click on your guides, it's going to bring up the guides panel. Uh, the guides panel um, allows you to enter these geometrically shaped guides, which cause your brush to paint on the surface of those guys. So let me demonstrate. Uh, so what I've got here is an ellipsoid guide and you'll see that I've got the ability to using the grip functions, uh, change the dimensions of this. I can resize it or I can change the dimensions of it. And this is true of any of the uh, tools uh, that, that are out there. So, to resize it, you touch the guide with one controller, click the grip, and then with the other, you don't touch it. You just grab the guide, and that allows you to resize it with the same shape. If you touch it with both, then that will change the, the ratio of um, height, width, and depth uh, for that guide. Once you have got uh, a uh, guide set up, what it, uh, you'll notice that the, uh, the cursor comes, the brush comes and snaps to it. I'll show you how to control that in a little while, but then that allows you to draw around that guide so that whatever you draw is going to stick to the surface of that guide so that's what it allows you to do it becomes a really useful tool really for a lot of things um, but let's say for instance that you're wanting to create a sphere let's say that you're wanting to create a human and you wanted to give them hair and this is going to be a disaster uh, but uh, i could come i could get this and I could start painting the hair onto the person. And what that guide is going to do is it's going to cause that brush to do its strokes confined to the space that you have there. So that could eventually, if you were an artist, turn into a, uh, into a head. But that gives you an idea. So all the features of the brush that you have are in place. So you can change the uh, the stroke. You can change the, the stroke width. That's really the main thing. Um, and you can add those elements to that guide. Uh, the different guides that are available, uh, we've got the plane guide, which uh, creates a flat plane. So if you've ever tried to do a floor or a wall or something like that, that becomes a good tool for that. Um, set that off to the side. We've got a sphere guide, which creates a sphere. We've got a cube guide. And again, you can change this from a square to a rectangle to whatever and you've got the six degrees of freedom. Grabbing it with one controller allows you to flip it within that six degrees of freedom. We also have a capsule guide, and the capsule guide, uh, when you squeeze it together, it will only come down to the sphere, um, but then you can stretch it lengthwise, and of course, you can change the dimensions of it. Okay, so the, the options here, the tools that go with those five guys, you've got the ability to turn them on and off. So if you're wanting to do work in here that's not connected to it, um, then you can, can turn that off, turn it back on, and then it will uh, tie itself to that guide or any of the guides that you have in place. Uh, at that one point. So once it connects to one, it sticks with that.
So that's turning the guides on and off. Uh, there's settings for the guides, and I'm going to get rid of all the guides except for, by the way, you notice that the guide separated there from the strokes. Yeah, erase all these strokes. And get these out of here. So here is our controller uh, that is under this guide settings. We have the ability to, and I'll bring out the cube guide here. Uh, we've got the ability to control that snapping. So how close your brush is to the um, to the guide before it snaps to it. I keep mine pretty tight because I'll have these guides on and I'm working, uh, you know, both on them and away from them. And it, if you've got that too wide, it just keeps snapping to it. Another thing that you have the ability to do is to change the grid side within, size within the um, guide that you have. So that changes the size of the, the separation distance of the grid lines so that you go can go from very tiny to pretty large. Uh, so you'll, depending upon what you're using the guides for, uh, you'll replace that. So for example, um, I created a set of a brick wall one time and what I did is let's get some red here that looks like a bricky red um, what I did was I turned on my straight edge because frankly drawing straight lines even on a guide is very hard um, because of biology and anatomy but what this allows you to do uh, is connect to the guide and draw that line and it won't set till you let it go. So that combination of um, guides and straight edge is what I used in that case. The next thing you can do is the width. So you can change the width of the lines. Um, again, you can change the size of the grid. Uh, and then you can change the border of the frame uh, to match whatever your needs are. And so that is the basic functions of the guide tool. And um, when you're needing to attach strokes to geometry, this is a fantastic tool because imagine how hard it would be to uh, freehand certain of these when you are dealing with uh, six degrees of freedom and especially a straight line is hard to do and getting the dimensions right for all of those planes, uh, all six of those planes of that um, box or that cube would be very hard. So that is the, the guide tool uh, and that's what I'm going to leave it at for that.